There is literally a mountain there. We have arrived at the chalet and I've got my little ski hat on, except it's not even that cold. And we are currently unpacking. I've got a lot to get through and it literally took like two minutes. This is so weird. Welcome to the skiing vlog. I'm in St. Anton. Sorry, I'm really struggling with this. I don't really know how it should sit on my head. Oh, today we traveled from home to St. Anton, which is in, oh, which is in Austria. And we're staying in this cute little cabin chalet thing. I'm with Elliot's family and some of Elliot's brother's friends. This is my first ski trip. So I'm gonna be showing you quite frankly frankly the the truths of what it's actually like skiing because growing up i went to a school where no one really skied i think there was one girl that skied at my school everyone sort of just assumed that she was really rich so we just thought it was like a rich thing to do i don't really know how that goes wait, wait let me show you the balcony da -da -da! wow <laughs> i just can't believe my eyes there's a mountain there. It's 3 p.m. We had an early morning flight and the plan for the rest of the day is to basically get sorted and set ourselves up for the week for my first ever skiing lesson tomorrow. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, we got the skis and the boots. <laughs> boots sorted, ski sorted and poles. Didn't even know, to be honest, that you really need poles until a couple of weeks ago. We went and had one drink at the bar, which is quite funny because A, I've sort of been doing dry January, even though it's January 27th, but I did dry 27 days of January. That one drink hit me like a truck but apparently altitude also makes you drunk a lot quicker. I'm gonna go downstairs now for some dinner because we're in a chalet and they literally cook you a three course meal every night, which I'm so happy about. They make you cake, there's like tea and coffee laid out. So yeah, let's go see what downstairs looks like. Good morning, it's day two of my ski trip. I'm kind of nervous because obviously today, <gasps> It's the first day that I'm ever gonna learn to ski. I don't really know what to wear, like how many layers, because it's not that cold. Oh my God, look at that. Yeah, I don't really know what to wear because it's not that cold today, but also like, I don't know. I've never been skiing before. How am I supposed to know? Well, I wasn't cold yesterday, but we were at the bottom and I wasn't actually on the snow, whereas today I'm actually gonna be on the snow. I've got lots of layers. I've got my hat, I've got my helmet. Can I wear this under my helmet? No. Oh, are you sure? No, you can't. So I can't wear anything under my helmet? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, got under gloves and yeah, I'm not going to obviously film while I'm at the lesson probably because, well, A, I don't think I'll be allowed. I don't think the instructor is going to appreciate me whacking out my camera. Yeah, exciting. Anyway, this is my outfit. This is what I wanted everything to show. Oh, pan down a bit. Yeah, all in one today with a lovely, oh, big hood. Oh my god, I look like such a sweaty mess now, but I had my first lesson. I'm famished, by the way. I hope they've made a cake back at the house. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, but also I think that's because they started us. They literally started us off so easily. Like, I didn't go down a slope at all, really. It was the slightest incline, so you can't really fall over and it's not scary. St. Anton is not for beginners, I'll tell you that for free. Because they don't have that many beginner-friendly slopes, there's not that many places that you can learn. I don't even really know where I'm going, I'm just kind of guessing that this is the way through the chalet. Everyone else obviously can ski so they can get to the St. Apre, whereas I can't. So I'm gonna get the bus there. Oh man, I'm lost. I think I took the wrong turning. My data doesn't work, so I can't do anything about it other than walk back down the hill. Oh well, it is what it is. It's a good place to be complaining, eh? Look at me! <laughs> that is what we like to see. Cake, and no one else is here. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Everyone's literally at Apre right now. I just saw a bunch of messages saying, guys, we're over by the bar. Oh. Mm. Mm. I am going, I just, I want to just zone out for a second. Good morning! It's ski day number two, I'm in a very good mood. I slept terribly last night because Elliot wouldn't stop breathing. 
he breathes really loud as if he's snoring, so it just really annoys me. This is my ski outfit for day number two. I got white pants and I'm gonna layer up for the morning. But then yesterday during my lesson, oh my God, I was baking. I didn't really get to speak to you much yesterday about my lesson, but it went well. It was really difficult and I woke up this morning with the world's sorest legs. But I feel like that's expected. There were some really nice people in the group, had some lunch with them and then went to Apre. I slid down on my bum and it was such a good time. And I ended up thinking, why do we bother skiing when you can just slide down on your ass? Way more fun. I didn't hurt myself, touch wood. Today is a new day though, so we can't be taking that energy in to day number two. Today's a whole new day. I'm gonna learn how to turn and I'm gonna learn how to stop. So let's go and get my ski boots. Hopefully they won't take as long to put on today because it literally took me like 10 minutes to get my boots on yesterday. And yeah, the plan for today is another ski lesson, 10 till three, and then at Prey again, but a different location. We went to a different bar yesterday, which wasn't as good apparently as the one we're going to tonight, which is called Moose. So let's go. Hello! So I've not actually filmed for probably a day. Last night we went out and it was heavy. It was seriously heavy. I'll insert some clips. I feel like this video might be a lot of clip inserting, but... Oh, oops, that was smooth. Anyway, it's day three today. So I've had three lessons in total. We drank six or seven of these last night. Jägermeisters. Disgusting. Just taking this one as a little like, memo. I actually... I. I was hiding them in my pocket so I didn't have to drink them because I had a lesson. I didn't want to get too drunk. But it was really good last night. It was so much fun. Honestly, Apre is so good. Definitely better than the first night. Today, I went up my first ski lift. I did some, I can actually ski down the mountain. It's just in St. Anton, it's full of really steep hills. So there's not that many places that I can actually ski yet. So I just have to ski down the same part and I'm learning to turn and my knees kill like a bitch, an absolute bitch, hurts so much. I'm having such a good time and this evening we don't have dinner from the chalet. So we're going out for dinner and I think it's gonna be a chilled one to be honest. Good morning, it's been a little while because I've just been so on the go, you know, learning how to ski and today is the last day, which I'm very sad about, last time seeing the mountains. And today I'm going out with just Elliot, no, no ski lessons. We've got a day of skiing and then we've got apre and dinner at the chalet. I just did my first blue run and it was a kid's blue run, but still, basically I got all the way down the mountain on my last day, woohoo! And Smashed my up. ski instructor, Elliot, helped me out. <laughs> and I didn't cry going down, so all good. And now we're on our way to have some lunch, which every day for lunch, I've been having ham and cheese croissant that I make from uh, breakfast. So I don't have to buy lunch because things are quite expensive here and I like to, I don't know, save money. Spend money on drinks instead later when we go to Apre. 